Hi guys, this is going to be a daily reading for today, Monday, December 17th, and I apologize that it is a little late that I'm doing this reading, but remember now, everything always runs in divine timing. Um, I want to thank everyone that's been purchasing my Prophecy bracelet, my new bracelet. It was out of stock. I just put a small batch back up. So get it while you can. If you want to purchase my Intention bracelets, please click on the link below. It'll take you straight to my website. All right, let's just get right into this. Monday, December 17th. As a reminder, energy is fluid and time is an illusion. So whenever you watch this reading, even though it's dated for today, as you guys hear me say repetitively in all of my readings, it's going to be it's going to be for you when, you know, you hear it. There's been just a lot of things popping off, right? A lot. And the energy has been, for some, very tower-like. I've experienced a few tower moments myself, but I know that that's just clearing the way. And these cards are fucking amazing. Um, you know, very first card is a strength card here. And the strength card is possibly Leo energy, but the strength card is very, very symbolic of having the strength to get over something. And really, this is about your test of faith. For not, I'm not talking about religion either. It's about your faith in yourself. You know, we have been going through a lot of tower moments, as you keep hearing me talk about. And it's also about some people getting over a particular big, huge karmic lesson that, you know, recently there was a particular wrap-up, okay? And the karmic lesson may have been this, the Four of Cups, where you may have been involved in or previously a situation where it was unrequited whether it was on your end or their end i don't know but it could have possibly been something unrequited could have tested your self-esteem in a sense because sometimes when someone doesn't want us right it makes you look at yourself and go is it me how come you don't want me but in actuality we know goddamn well it ain't us because we sit in pretty like the queen of pentacles, right? Male or female, doesn't matter. It's the energy. We sit in pretty. We're saying, I know my worth. And I know goddamn well I'm a catch. And just because you don't want me doesn't mean that all these other people out there don't want me too. They want me. It's really like this lesson of you could be the juiciest, most ripest peach, and there will still be people out there that don't like peaches. And that's the, the Dita Von T's quote. Um, I love that she says that because, honey, it is not a lie. You can be the most juiciest motherfucker, and there'll still be somebody that don't like juicy, honey. Some people like dry, okay? And, you know, it's kind of like you learn, you go, oh, it ain't about me, it's about them. It could be minor too. It doesn't have to be a big, huge thing, but that's somebody getting over some shit over here. You have the five of wands, competition. And it is a card of competition. A lot of times for me too, it's a movement because as you can see, there's a lot, there's a lot of shit going on in this card. There's a lot of shit. It also is fighting with the ego. And it is definitely ego for some people because it's right underneath the strength card. And with the strength energy here with the lion, it's about ego and pride, right? So somebody here had to learn that lesson of swallowing their pride maybe or the, getting the ego in check and let me tell you when somebody don't want you and check your ego okay because you know like i said human nature to it to first think what the fuck how come you like that doodle girl <laughs> how come you like that doodle girl but you don't want me <laughs> it gets our ego in check it's humbling and it also teaches us about our worth because you get to this point where you you go, I don't give a fuck if you don't want me because I want me and they want me and nobody care what you want. That's, the, that's this energy. I'm telling you, it unlocks so much because the last two cards here are the Ace of Pentacles and the Nine of Cups. Wish fulfillment. Nine of Cups is wish fulfillment. It's also something coming to an end. And then, of course, the Ace of Pentacles is the Big Daddy. Pentacles are tangible things. This could be, yes, money. This could be getting a new job. This could be moving for some of you guys, okay? But this is some type of wish fulfillment. Something here comes in divine timing. It's like the lesson is learned, the wheel of fortune, the wheel turns, and then 
as if almost by like it feels like a miracle something here feels like a miracle i don't know what the hell that means but you know we are in the season for miracles and shit happening magic in the air you've heard me say those words for quite a, a bit of time magic in the air serendipity destined and faded boom look at that abundance the empress and i gotta tell you something right now too if somebody didn't want you before honey they'd be seeing your work now you'd be looking like the empress as you always was queen of pentacles with the empress honey you sitting pretty whether a person want you or not you sitting pretty because you know your worth the empress symbolizes abundance and the thing about the empress is is that she's ruling a kingdom here she's ruling her empire without anybody at her side she's the empress by herself she is a master manifester also he or she but this feels feminine it feels like feminine energy getting your wish granted and it's not just one wish for some of you it's a whole slew of them and for some of you it's a very old wish and look now you sitting pretty waiting the three of wands is waiting for our ships to come in we keep continuously seeing 111 right now here in hawaii it's 1 44 p.m <coughs> we see 11 11 555 888 if you continuously see angel numbers which are repetitive numbers google it and see what resonates with you because it's a personal message to you People ask me, well, what does it mean? Well, shit, it could be different for everybody. Google it. And when you read through all of the different things that it could be, what jumps out at you and what resonates with you is what it is. Someone here is waiting. It's divine timing. I told you, somebody's waiting. See, look, judgment. Judgment is a resurrection of something. So some of you, it's someone coming back from the past. And it could just be to wrap things up. Is it physically? Maybe. Some people, it's energetically. The, the energy of them comes back. You start reliving all these things. You, you start getting in your feels going, how come this motherfucker didn't want me? And then you start going through it and go, fuck him, fuck her. You know, I am the empress. I am a king and a queen. I am, you know, a god and a goddess. I know my worth. And then it's like you close that chapter and then boom, here we go. Here we go, it activates something. And judgment can be about something old coming back. It's a resurrection. But that don't goddamn well mean that you gotta go and, and, and resurrect it and, and entertain it, okay? Use judgment on that, Ace of Wands. Oh, Lord, help me. Two aces. Ace of Wands is action. It is something very passionate that's gonna happen. Could be a relationship. This could be a new business. This is movement. It's the shift. And for some of you, it's a reconciliation. Now, does it mean it's someone that you have had to have entertained in this lifetime? No. This resurrection of something coming back in could be something that it's from past lives. You may have never met the person. And it's a resurrection and it's a reconciliation. Now, you see the ruby there? Remember now, rubies are the stones of reconciliation. Three cards here. told you someone's coming back from the past, the Six of Cups. And it doesn't have to be in this lifetime. It doesn't have to be. Six of Cups is past life soulmate. Then you got the Knight of Pentacles. It's an offer. That's a slow offer. Which is why I feel like for some of you, if you wished for something and it was this lifetime, it, it, you forgot about the shit because it took so long to get here. <laughs> it took so long to manifest. You forgot about it. Look at the Magician. The Magician is trying to manifest something. So a wish here is being manifested. Something's coming true. It is. So this is beautiful energy here. And it doesn't always have to be about love. <clears throat> Could it be like an old wish for career or something of that sort? Absolutely. Hell yeah. Oh boy, it's looking like love though. <laughs> it's looking like a... The lovers could be Gemini energy, honey. The lovers could be also seen as soulmate twin flame. It could also be seen as reconciliation. Okay, the sacred divine union. It's also a decision that needs to be made in love. Um, so for some of you, you may be presented with a particular offer that you really need to think long and hard about. And just because you get presented with a cup don't mean you got to drink from it. Because as I tell you guys, if you drink from every cup, that's how the fuck you can get poisoned. Okay, so we have to use extreme discernment here. <sighs> Someone's coming back from the past, whether it's this life or past life. And it's going to be this reconciliation between two people. Now, this could very well be 
I mean, this is a lifetime partner for whoever or group, whatever group this is. I'm channeling. This is a lifetime partner. This is not going to be a karmic soulmate. There will be karmic soulmate wrap ups, but the counterpart will come in when you get to this frequency and this level and you know your worth because you are love. Remember my I am love intention bracelets and my I am love candles. That's what they're for. They're for you to clear out the heart chakra so that you can have an open heart and so that you can fill that shit back up yourself because we have our own cup. You don't need another person to fill your cup. You don't. That's what self-love is. Self-love is I love me even if nobody loves me. And if nobody show me love, I show me love, right? Oh, Lord Jesus. <laughs> Somebody be coming back. <laughs> Somebody be coming back. Woo! Shake it like a Polaroid picture. <laughs> okay. Oh, Lord, it's been a long day, you guys. I mean, should we even shuffle again? I don't know. Oh, my God. It's the Two of Cups. <laughs> definitely a soulmate connection and if you guys did not watch my cancer full moon energy reading you should and if you didn't watch all my past readings before you should because we keep talking about this cancer full moon on the 22nd of this month's going to be big this this winter solstice on the 21st the day before it's just kind of unlocking all these things and really what it is is it's like because this is the thing this particular full moon in cancer is at zero degrees cancer which means it's fully at home honey there will be people, places, and things that are going to be by magnetic pull going back home. I guess is like the best way to put it. You also have here the hanged man and the eight of pentacles. Hanged man is a pause button where ain't shit happening. It's also enlightenment. Someone gets a light bulb moment, you know. Eight of pentacles is devoted, working hard on something. Someone's been putting a lot of time and effort in their awakening. We're never fully awakened. So even at a really high vibration, even me, I'm, I, I do what I do for a living and, you know, what have you, but I'm still awakening no matter what. We are never fully, fully awakened, okay? Someone here is working on it. They're doing research. They are, they're committed to, we're not taking all that. We're only taking that one that fell over. And of course, it would be justice because it's going to be karmic justice. Whatever this payout is, it's karmic justice for sure. Karmic justice for sure. The tape, the, 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 um, the scales are going to be balanced out because you know that on the uh, justice card, you see the scales of justice. That's balance. Things are going to be balanced out here. Whatever that means. So put it this way. If you're having tower-like moments, the universe is trying to take what needs to go so that they can give what needs to stay. And it's like a perfect balance. So rest assured, what is taken will be replaced. And what will be replaced is usually even better if you allow it to be. You don't fight it. Last card is the world. And in my other reading, the last card was the world also. Completion. Coming completely full circle. But this is a card of absolute completion. Completion. It is done. So close the book. Get ready to open up the third and final book. As I like to say, I like to use the analogy that we're, it's like a trilogy. And we are wrapping up and, and finishing up the second book. And now here we go. Or it's almost like if this is like, you know, a movie or a play. We are entering the second act. I love that J-Lo has that new movie out. And I can't wait to see it. And it really is like for a lot of us. It's our second act. I'm 40 years old. And I feel like I'm really only now going to start living my best life. You know? So it, it's never too late for you to have everything you've ever wished for. It's never too late. Okay? I never want you guys to ever feel a little bit down and say, I'm this age. I'm this old. It's not going to happen. Oh, it's, it's not looking too good. You keep saying those things. And like the magician energy because of law of attraction, what you think feel and say you attract to you so we want to be positive we want to say fuck yeah i'm gonna get the life of my dreams because i deserve it and i've worked hard for it and i am constantly attracting abundance that is for my greater good things are always working out for me as abraham hicks says 
All right, guys, this is going to be your reading for today, Monday the 17th. And I will try to get Tuesday's reading out today. We'll see. We'll see if I have time to do that. But I want to thank you guys so much. Remember, if you want to book a reading with me, click on the link below. And I would book your readings now because I'm going to be going to New York very soon. And if you want to come to my New York Brooklyn event, the tickets are on sale. Click on the link below. And for those on Oahu or want to come to Oahu next month, my Oahu event, the tickets are on sale for that also. It's going to be January 27th. So I can't wait to see all of you in Brooklyn. What's up, New York? Um, from Hawaii to New York, it's a travel, but it's a travel that I can't wait for. And I'm so excited to meet each and every one of you. And I want to thank all of my new subscribers and my new followers. Follow me on Instagram, xi underscore missy underscore xi. I tend to go live there a lot. Um, I want to just thank you guys so much. I love you guys. Please take care. Bye.